Hello, it's me Jefferson. Today is 2nd of June 2018. My time now is just 7 30 and um, I just bath. Um, today I decided to do an early vlog diary because um, I feel like um, I'm a little bit um, sad right now today. So. I really need a lot of mommy time to figure out the things lately. Um, and also today is the first day where um, Joe is not here. One of my besties is not here with me. It's kind of sad actually, but um, I will get through it. Um, so yeah, basically I, I'm just um how do I say it? It's just another moment where another emotional moment where I'm going through right now. I remember I remember the last time I was having this kind of emotional state was three or four years ago when I was um having sort of like state but different totally different occasions. The time I was really young, so when I look back, it's like really, yeah, I was like, really? I was so emotional until I have that kind of um, emotional talk. But the good thing is, I cried a lot of the time. I think now I couldn't cry even though I feel sad. And probably because that time I was like literally crying out my tears already, so. <laughs> Even though I'm I'm sorry now, but I can't really like cry, and I think it's really pathetic at one point because I have no place to release. So I'm trying to get some inspiration to, you know, let this negative energy negative energies out for a little bit. Um, yeah. So maybe later I'll just watch some um very emotional movies and stuff. I'm not sure yet, but. I just really want to get into these emotions and dissolve myself with the emotions and get out from there. It's not good at all because actually lately I've been through not like a lot, mostly because leaving is the key lately, not just because Joe and I've met and my friends and also my jobs. And basically there's a lot, a lot, a lot of factors that make me so emotional right now and also like uh uh what should i say how should i put it this is like a state for me to think contemplate um analyze observe um basically just reorganize my philosophy sort of and yeah and lately I feel that I feel like my heart especially at this sternum, sternum part is not pain but it's like really pressured so I'm trying to find a way to get out of it and yeah and lately I just oh oh so actually these few days I was thinking about a very um how should I put it? Because when I'm in a very emotional state and I will have a lot of crazy ideas, in some point it's good, but not that good because mostly most of the ideas are really extreme. For example, like um, just yesterday when we got back from Ipoh with Joe and we discussed about things, which is, uh, and I, because since that's a long journey, so, um, original plan to do some like uh you know like uh, questions to each other like personal questions and stuff like a true or there but just no there because we are we're in the car so there's no there we can do so just <laughs> truth so i came up with questions which was about uh which is to ask uh to let each other tell i mean to let each other see the darker secret within them 
with female self. And for Joe's is like, yeah, like a normal one. He, she she likes to tease others. She she likes to prank. But for me, that's not the darkest one, honestly. And I have this darkest one. At least I feel like it's the darkest one. I and darkest and extreme one, most extreme one, where it's either um, I'm not in the world. You know, it's like suddenly disappear in the world, or I want the whole world, the people in the world, disappear and just me. You know, why I have this kind of emotion, uh, this kind of concept is because I, it's because of the thought of emotions. You know, and I feel emotions is really sad. Um, it's in a way. Um, how should I put it? It's like, once you attach with, okay, let, let's just not say attach first. Let's say when you connect with one person, a good or bad, um, there's a connection and it's really hard to detach. But it's really hard to disconnect. So when it's not easily to detach or disconnect and the thing still stuck over there, and it's kind of not good. I mean, it feels not good at all. So that's why I have these kind of things. I just don't really want to get, not that I hate people at one point. I mean, maybe I hate people, but that's not the main point. The thing is because I hate building emotions, connections. I mean, building connections is fine, but building emotional connections, the suckest things in the world because is because we know everyone no one is perfect and we have to like give and take in one point and it's really exhausted because for example like, i just give you an example um some people they might be very kind very good but at one point they are too you know they are too how say like indecisive and you know something like that is like a very long or for example myself, I I consider I consider myself like a very moderate person, but emotions is a thing which ruin me sometimes. I mean most of the time because for example I like want one moment I feel like I wanna do this, do that and um even have a plan and stuff like really nice. But then when I get too excited and now I can apply my my, my philosophy here where when I reach a peak emotions if let's say i am so happy with my with my plan and stuff then somehow i'll drop to everything and to the bottom the rock bottom and i mean the worst part is i know this is this is because um maybe somehow um the fate things or destiny one is to be like oh don't overreact or just do to do just balance you want us to be balanced to balance to have a balanced life so that's why it's really easy to be excited and it's really easy to be or it's really easy to be an, be an angel and it's very easy to be in be a devil but it's really hard to be between them you know like a lower says so it's sort of like making me confused and having a lot of self-conflicts and emotions lately this is why i'm become so crazy i have a lot of things that i cannot achieve the balance so it somehow annoys me you know <laughs> so but at the same time i'm trying to tell myself that it's okay if let's say you can't really achieve the balance but at least you try so it's fine so this is like my you know in one way you can see I'm really confused. I'm self conflict but at the same time, I was having a very clear mind. But then life just like punched me down, and no, not not to say punch me down. Sometimes I feel like life is like trying to play me. You know, I'm not sure whether you have these kind of feelings. Like one moment you give you like a lot of sweet and candies, and and then part you just like scolding. You know, punish you with something else for I don't know what reasons. 
so it's kind of weird you know i sort of like yeah this is what makes me feel emotional and make me feel depressed stress pressure lately so that's the reason why i try not to talk a lot with anyone and even put up my you know um very um like you owe me money face i call it that guys <laughs> like a very you know, serious and serious and somehow i can kill you that kind of face so but one thing i'm sure is that no one dare talk to me so far and it's good because i don't want to get connected to anyone anymore even though deep down i think i want to connect with you but in fact and for in reality i don't think i want to because yeah it's a very long process and i hate it you know like serious i really hate it yeah so basically um at least now i have a platform too thanks to youtube actually i'm not promoting anything but this is like a really good platform for me to you know record my feelings and emotions and and one day i'll just when i look back on and when i watch my videos my blog diary and stuff i will at least observe what's wrong with me and stuff so yeah so i think you know now you are afraid of the camera is probably just like what those professionals say this is the the wait the the this is what we leave for this generation you know sort of like that can't help because the world is becoming a very um cold like you know just sick world so everyone six anyway um yeah so i'm going to have my dinner later and probably do something very extreme to let my emotion out or at least let my tears out um yeah so bye and probably i have the i'll just greet you like a very early good night <laughs> bye bye